Oh, it's another beautiful day in Stardew Valley Fall, my favorite season. In real life, and yeah, I'm liking the colors in this one too. Osmodius needs some green algae, does he? Well, I happen to have some in my inventory, so I'll be happy to give it to you, sir. When are you open, by the way? Uh, you closed on Wednesdays. Well, I think it might be open now. Let me do my rounds of the dumpster bin. I'll go in and buy some full seeds. Because I actually got a quality sprinkler from the Junimos that I completely forgot I was carting around. It can water eight squares around it, so that's eight things I don't need to worry about. Let's go see what's going on in here. It's locked until nine. Hey, <sighs> you're making me wait for it, Pierre, and I'm not too keen, I gotta say. How you doing, Shane, buddy? What do you want? Go away. Friggin' hell. Resident Crab Apple Shane, everybody. Seasons may change, he does not. And man, the only thing I need to complete the harvest bundle at the community center is a hazelnut. And I haven't found one yet. I found literally everything else. Ooh, and these guys are gold too. Uh, maybe I can grow hazelnuts. Yeah, probably not. Maybe he has wild seeds. That would help a lot. Come on, open, open, open. There we go, Pierre. Let's buy some seeds. Oh, is Juju Martin messing with you? Oh. Oh. Oh, this is Abigail's room. Playing some, playing some Custer's Revenge, are you? Yeah, what am I doing in your room anyway? Hey, um, is your dad around? I kind of need to buy some seed. Buckles, that is my name. I would like to buy some seeds. You scared me sneaking into my room like that. What the hell am I doing? I'm creeped out by myself at this point. Yeah, I've been playing Journey of the Prairie King for hours. I can't even beat the first level. You kind of suck, don't you? Game is ridiculously hard. Well, either that or I'm just terrible at it. The second one. It's the second one. You're terrible at it. What? Hey, do you want to try the level together with me? I think it might be better with your help. I... Fine. Yeah, no, again, I'm just an entrepreneur and, you know, a skilled tradesman, but I got time to mess around on a video game. What, what the hell do we have to do here? Move space to use item, and then it's up and down to shoot? Oh, okay. Oh, you're in the way of my shots, girl. Oh. Oh. Wait, it's just me? Okay, gotcha. Here they come! Wow, she's losing her frickin' mind, isn't she? Okay. I think I got this now. Oh, there's items! Look at that! Coffee! Woo! Yeah, let's take this out. Do I get more one-ups? Yes, I do. Ha <laughs> ha! Alright, look at us! Kicking ass together! Oh, well, now it's just me, Abigail. Then again, it always was just me, wasn't it? Yeah! Shooting bullets like it ain't no thing. Ugh! Yeah, I know you're upset. Don't worry, don't worry. I'm a master. I'm a master of disaster. And no one is faster than the master of disaster. Ha ha ha! This is... Oh, well, I, I got more lives, so I should be fine. Where am I? Ha ha! Oh, look at this. This looks like a gun upgrade. Ha <laughs> ha! What now, brown cow? Well, that's something I should really invest in. Hey, cows. Shotgun. Yeah, look at the spread. Look at my sweet spread. You need, you need a gun with a nice spread, is what you need. Did we win yet? Nope, nope, the game is still afoot, it would seem. Oh, I can shoot on angles too. Okay, cool. I'm learning how this game works. This is not bad, this is not bad. Some power-ups would be nice, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie, but you know what, you gotta work with what you got. I think I got plenty of, what do these little ones mean anyways? Are these like points? Okay, I, I don't wanna, I wanna get that power-up, but I also don't wanna die. And I feel like the moment I get close, oh, oh! I see what that does, it blows them all up. Cool! Is that it? Can we stop this now? I really don't want to keep playing. Abby, shut the game down. I want to go to work. Can't believe I'm saying that, but you know. Hey, that was fun! Yeah, well, I mean, it was something. Well, thanks, Buckles. You seem to really know your way around a joystick, huh? Just gonna... not gonna touch that. Because I already did this morning. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. What are you trying to say? What's with the merp face, lady? Yeah, okay. Um, you. Yes. Ooh, bok choy. Eggplant? Corn? Oh, it grows in summer or fall. That would explain why my corn is still growing. Yams. Ooh, cranberries. I love cranberries. Seven days. And they continue to produce after first harvest. Well... Hmm, pumpkin seeds take 13 days, huh? Uh, uh, yeah, I'm not too sure about the pumpkin seeds. Mm, which one takes the least amount of time? Probably the bok choy. Uh, the bok choy only takes four days. But the cranberries, they're, uh, they're a return crop. Hmm. Summer or fall? 
fairy seeds. Oh, I'm like, we, we, we can grow fairies. That's a thing we can do here. Plant these. They take seven days to grow. And they harvest with a scythe. Yeah, I don't know what they are. Grapes. Plant these in fall. They take 10 days to grow, but keep producing after that grows on a trellis. Oh, that's the wooden thing in the ground. I understand. You take 10 days to grow, though. Jeez. Well, you know what? Um, mm, You keep producing afterwards, too. Cranberries, you say. Okay. All right, hold on a second. Let me, let me have a brief look at what I'm trying to achieve here, because I do want the greenhouse, which means I will need some quality crops. I will need corn, I will need yams, and I will need pumpkins. All right. I know what I need from you. Give me four pumpkin seeds. Yeah, four pumpkin seeds. Give me four eggplants. I'll do. And give me four yams. Yeah, that ought to do it. I think, I, I think that should be fine. Oh, give me three corn. We'll even it out. Why the hell not, right? Might as well while I'm here. Okay, Abby, you're kick. Hey, 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 I actually came here. I got some amethyst. Do you like amethyst? Here, take an amethyst. I seriously love this. You're the best. Oh, it's because it's purple like you. Hold on a second now. Well, if you love it so much, how come you don't love me more? I'm trying to get you close enough so that you don't notice the dagger I'm holding behind your back. I have to give something to Asmodeus, don't I? You know what, I'm gonna go plant some stuff before all this kicks off. I'm getting distracted too easily. I had to play some stupid SNES video game with an idiot rock eater, so... I got... I got sidelined here. I'm only trying to allow the magical sprites dwelling within the dilapidated community center to bestow their riches upon me and rebuild my greenhouse. Holy crap, if I could cut the legs out from under Robin by doing that, I totally would. Actually, wait a minute. Yeah, hold on a second. I got a sprinkler system. I would need to water some of these things. Where is it? It's there. Okay. There we go. Now we're cooking with gas. Okay, so check this out. Um, let me see here. I will go, uh, let's see. One, two, wait, no. Like this. Let's try and do this right here, shall we? I want to make sure it's definitely within the radius of our resident scarecrow friend. Speaking of which, I haven't spoken to you in a while. How are you? I've scared off one crow. Hey, you've already done your job and then some. Good, sir. Kind, sir. Uh, let's see. So, I'll put you right there. Oh, you know what I need? I need fertilizer. Yeah! Need some fertilizer for this bad boy. I want these things to grow right. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. How many do I have? I got 12, 15. Yeah, that's how many I got. All right. There we go. We're good now. Okay. Let's get cooking with gas here. One, two... Why am I even counting? I know exactly how many I have. I already did the math so I wouldn't have to. Alright, so we will put... You take 10 days and you take 13. So, since you guys are going to be the long crops, we'll put you here so I don't need to worry about you. Hello, Farfo. Just just back off for a sec, buddy. Uh, Daddy's working. Uh, okay, so that's good. And then... Eh, eh, eh. Yeah, there we go. The crops take the longest, now no longer need my stewardship, which is fine by me. So, bearing that in mind, the next thing we'll do is, um, I guess we'll keep them all in like little, little uh, blocks. Yes, that's the word I was looking for. So we'll go like that. So, this should be be what I'm trying to achieve, I think. Eggplant? Yeah, okay, good. It's it's a block of eight. That's what I was hoping for. Oh, my other corn plant's over there. Son of a bitch. All right, well, can't win them all. And I forgot to put the fertilizer down. God dang, I gotta really work on my process here. I'm dropping the ball. It's all right, it's all right. The sprinkler system's gonna automatically water these things, right? Or do I have to do it myself? How exactly does this sprinkler system work? Like, does it just automatically water things, or do I have to, like, prompt it somehow? Because right now it doesn't seem to be doing much of anything. Hold on a second, let's have a look at this. Waters for every morning. Oh, I see. Okay, no, 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 I get it. It's midday, so... Yeah, you, you're time to go off in the mornings. Fair enough. Fair enough. That's fine by me. Although I like these quality ones. They get eight instead of the, uh, standard four. Although, obviously, probably more expensive to make. These guys just take uh, iron and copper, which uh, I suppose if I didn't want to deal with these, I could have just made two. And you know what? Hindsight's twenty twenty. I'm not going to beat myself up over this. 
I am a hard working man. Seeing as how Abigail likes those, I'll hold on to one of those for her birthday. In the meantime, I think the best thing to do is to go a hunting for that last little bit of fall loveliness that I can sacrifice to the Junimos. Which, I'm curious. Are they responsible for these statues that are lying around? Because something else that I unlocked was this little thing called a warp statue. Or a warp totem. And it's linked to the beach. Which, I'm told, means I can teleport to the beach with this thing. So magic is a very real force in Stardew Valley. But it's something that everybody just seems to kind of disregard or not give a shit about. Like, Rasmodius is all just like, oh yes, magic. Uh, but, speaking of which, did I? I don't think I gave him his thing. Oh, crap. I gotta go back and get that. As I was saying, like, I mean, he's he's heavy into it. He's all just like, oh yes, these are the sprites of the nature forest. Uh, they require your help and they only want to talk to you. And uh, everybody else is just sort of like, I don't know, I guess it's haunted or something. Maybe we should sell it to Costco. Like, obviously there's like literal, like, my neighbor Totoro forest spirits dwelling within this community center. And I can't, like, did they just take up residence or have they always been there? <gasps> That's the question. And I gotta assume they've always been there. Or at least they've always been around. And seriously, I want that wizard to teach me how he teleports. Because that is just, it's too useful. It's like, man, do you know how short my commute to work would be with that thing? Like, I literally could just click my fingers, be in town, pick up what I need, get back here. It would it would go a long way to help me make this this farm profitable. Not Not that it isn't profitable. Well... It's getting there. It's certainly better than it was when I started two seasons ago, but let's be clear here. The majority of my wealth has come from pillaging the undergrounds and slaying monsters, and I'm not opposed to that. Honestly, once I get this place up and going and it's self-sustained, which to me means I've got some automated sprinkler systems taking care of seeds so I don't have to, and, you know, enough chicken coops that I'm swimming in eggs... That, to me, is a successful farm, because then I can just spend my days going into the mines, pulling up treasures, filling up the museum. Man, once the museum's over, what's, what is there left for me? Ugh. Once I've climbed every mountain, what, what's left to conquer? I haven't even thought of that. Oh, that's depressing. I don't want this to end. I'm enjoying myself. Ah, the item I requested. Your work was satisfactory. Here is your compensation. Hold on a second. Um... Fish, minerals... I don't think that counts as a mineral. Is... No, it's not under here either, is it? Cooking... Artifacts? It's not an artifact. What does algae fall under exactly? It's not under here. Is it? It should. Have I not sold any in the box yet? Because I think that's where the price comes from. Just looking at all the shapes here, it... it we really should. My gosh, if it hasn't, and I've just... I don't think I've sold any in the box yet. Wanted to see if Osmodius was ripping me off or not. And unless I'm just, like, glazing over this thing... I don't think I've sold any in my box before. Which is weird. you think that would have been one of the first things. Huh. How about that? I could have sworn I had. Maybe it just doesn't show up. Want to know if 45 was a good way to go? Either way, I improved my friendship with him because it said he'd like it, so you know what? Great. Well, while I'm out here, I might as well peruse the local foliage for some hazelnuts. I'm assuming it's either on the ground or it comes from a bush. Either one would be great. How about you, Sky Boy? Have you seen any hazelnuts about? My shoes are always seem to wear out this time of year. Look, my toe's poking through. You don't seem too upset about it, so I mean, it can't be that bad. Thanks for not answering my question, though. You're a wealth of information, as always, Sam. Just an absolute bevy of usefulness. Seriously, though, where are these hazelnuts? Okay, I'm finding... What is this? A grape? A blackberry. Oh, two golden... Well, look at me finding all the schnazzy, top-quality, forageable items. I'm good at this. I just wish I could find some hazelnut, because apparently that's the one thing I can't get my hands on. My god, my kingdom for a hazelnut. Come on. Really? For God's sake. It's like the one thing that's eluding me right now. I'm gonna have to buy some wild seeds or something and just chuck them down, hope for the best. It's starting to piss me off, though. Nothing. Oh, there's the hat mouse. Do you have anything worth buying? A pokeball. This one's sure to turn heads. 
No, I'm not spending money on that. I'll, I'll, you know what? When I'm swimming in coins, I'll come by and buy your whole hat collection. But until that day, I got shit to do, man. I can't be wasting my money buying crap hats from you. No matter how adorable you may be. A pretty face only goes so far. <laughs> Flattery will get you everywhere. Ah, <sighs> but a hazelnut would really get me to where I want to be. Yeah, that, that would just be, that, that would be a feather in my cap and just a perfect ending to a eh, decent day, I guess. I mean, it hasn't been a terrible day at all. I mean, <laughs> I, I, I learned that Abigail's a video game freak, which, you know what, I can't lie, kind of endears me to her a bit. It's like, all right, you know what, you win a few points in my book for that one. I'm not forgetting what happened at the Egg Festival, but... Yeah, it goes a long way towards me hating you less. It's more than I can say for Dimitri, I'll put it that way. Him, I still don't like at all. I don't care if he set up a mushroom shop in my cave. That uh, does not forgive what, uh, <laughs> what a righteous dick he's been to me. He may be for science, but, uh, I still hate the guy. Oh, oh boy, that is, that is putting it lightly. Like, like blue menu light, vanilla, like, like Philadelphia cream cheese light. Oh, God. You know, I probably wouldn't have hated him as much if he hadn't pinned me against several objects. But, you can't take back what's happened in the past. You can only move forward and prepare for the future. You know, why am I giving you the good one? Forget that noise. I got two gold ones. I'm gonna sell that stuff. Nuts to this. Don't get me wrong. I want the community center to be returned to its former glory. Be grander than it ever was before. But I also gotta make some money, man. I mean, you, you heard the mayor, right? Most of the shit around here is funded by taxing local businesses. And I don't know if you noticed, but I am the local business. I mean, yeah. We already know this. I am the local business. Fucking... Get... Why can I shake these bushes if nothing's coming out? Come on! Give me something! Gosh, this is bullshit. Okay, fine. I'll see if there's any hazelnuts up here. I really want to finish this fall foraging thing so I can focus on other things. Come on, give me a hazelnut, goddammit. Gotta be one around here somewhere. Sebastian, bro, have you seen any hazelnuts? Pumpkin spiced. This, pumpkin spice that. I mean, I do get sick of these seasonal fads. Wow. Sebastian, I've given you a lot of shit for the last two seasons. I've called you emo boy. I've made fun of you. I've made some tasteless jokes at your expense. But to know that you hate pumpkin spice, Sebastian, bro, respect. I totally get where you're coming from. I, too, am not a fan of pumpkin spice. It's one of those seasonal things that just irritates me. And to know that it irritates you, too, well, Sebastian, I think that, you know what, given enough time, once I figure out whatever the hell it is you like, we, we might become friends. I'm not saying that we'll ever be best friends, but at the very least, we've got one thing that we can complain about together. Although, fortunately, I gotta say, there's no coffee shop in town that I'm aware of. I mean, well, I suppose the saloon kind of doubles as a restaurant slash coffee shop, but who's going there for the coffee, am I right? No, I'm, if, if he sells a pumpkin spice... My God, if he sells pumpkin spice. Does he... Okay, hold on a second. I can't let this rest now. <laughs> I can't. I just can't. I'm, hold on a second. We're, we're gonna end this episode by me making a pit stop in the saloon, because first of all, I really haven't spend a lot of time there outside of just dropping off parcels that people have wanted for random reasons. And the other thing is, if Gus sells pumpkin spice, <laughs> for as much as Sebastian may have garnered some points in my book of likable people of Pelican Town, Gus may drop a few points if he is actually selling pumpkin spice. So, Gus, let's see what you got. You got beer. Hey, we are off to a solid start. Drink in moderation. Ha! <laughs> I'm gonna try and get drunk. Coffee? No, I, I I can make my own good, sir. Eventually, eventually. Hash browns, omelets, pancakes, bread, tortillas, pizzas, maki rolls. I don't know what that is. Ooh, chocolate cake. You know, I found three perfectly good chocolate cakes. I, I was given to them by the uh, forest spirits, but I also found, uh, you know, a whole artisanal breads chucked in the garbage. You're wasteful people. Okay, you know what, Gus? This is good. No, this is good. You aren't selling pumpkin spice. Sebastian had me worried. I mean, I agree with him on principle. Yeah, pumpkin spice is... It's an annoying fad. Yeah. No, no, no freaking complaints from me there, but... 
You had actually been selling pumpkin spice latte, Gus. Buddy. But I had some words. And I would gladly buy some of those recipes, but here's the thing. I don't have a kitchen yet. It costs ten grand and... And a bunch of resources that Robin wants out of me. I don't have that money. Yet. Good night to you, Farfo. And good night to you. Or good morning. Or good afternoon. Whenever the hell you're watching this. Hope you enjoyed it. Because I know I sure as shit did. Interesting goings on. Especially in regards to Abigail. That girl has... I would say oniony layers, but I'm trying to think of a rock metaphor. We are just getting below the mantle crust of who she really is. There you go. <laughs> anyway, until next time, my name's Rye. You guys take care of yourselves.